Good morning. We have your morning announcements. And first of all, I see an interesting one here that I don't remember us doing in the past. Uh, it is apparently Unity Day tomorrow, as selected by someone. So students and staff are asked to wear orange in support of bullying, awareness, and prevention. I love orange ties, so I'm going to try to remember that. We're orange tomorrow uh, for Unity Day in support of anti-bullying, awareness, and prevention. We've had some really cool colleges and universities here today. I happened to see the, or this fall, I should say, I happened to see the person from the University of uh, Southern California today. Also, I saw the person from Clark College. Well, here are a couple more uh, big time colleges that a lot of Wash kids are interested in. On Thursday at 8.30, the University of Wisconsin, that's the big University of Wisconsin, at Madison, will be here at 8.30. At the very same time, the very prestigious University of Chicago, from Chicago, Illinois, will be here also in the counseling office. So two great chances later this week. Uh, all the others are finished for the week now. I would say the university is probably just leaving about now. But University of Wisconsin-Madison and University of Chicago come in here at 8.30 on Thursday morning. Oh, don't forget, if you've been waiting for one of those large size CWR blue Iowa Assessment Award t-shirts to come in, they're in. Stop by and see Mrs. Johnson, and she'll trade you for your other one and get you the right size. We want everyone to be attired in the correct size t-shirt. All 698 of you who want t-shirts. Um, okay, study table today after school on 118B. Guitar club today after school in 234. GSA after school today in 228. And seniors, listen up. Tomorrow, even if you do not have a period six, you should be here during warrior time, because during warrior time, we're going to have seniors go to the auditorium to meet with our Herf Jones representative on caps and gowns and announcements and other graduation type paraphernalia. So be sure you're here for that. It's at 142 in the auditorium tomorrow for all seniors. Girls interested in playing club volleyball should attend a meeting after school tomorrow in room 129. That's the study hall. And if you're interested in bowling, either men or women, then your meeting is Thursday at 310 in room 116, Ms. Mooney's room. And coats for kids are distributing coats at Olivet Mission uh, this Friday in the morning. So if you need help with that, why check with me or uh, let someone know that, uh, check more information on how to get them from the Olivet Mission. Okay, three birthdays. Morgan Chambers, Kelsey DeBrower, and Fabrice Massey. Happy birthday to all of you. Uh, volleyball tonight over at Kennedy, sophomore JV and varsity, and uh, I'm going to have to miss that because it's the first big vocal concert of the year here, and they're head-to-head -head conflicts exactly the same time. You can see the concert choir, the Mads, and the Wash Singers in their big fall concert at 7 o'clock in the auditorium. Lunch today uh, at First on Forest, there are three choices. Uh, beef teriyaki dippers with buttered noodles and breadstick, always a favorite. Also ham and cheese deli sandwiches and the yogurt, granola, and muffin deal. At uh, GW's on the left, chicken patty and a bun, that's another favorite. Way down in 1957, uh, especially, that's the school year this, the year this school opened, by the way, that's why that last area is called established 1957. Especially pizza there. Also, you can have that chicken Caesar pasta salad again. Uh, and in the red and blue line, Asian rice bowl. So great lunch choices today. Tuesdays, from now until March, Academy Decathlon will meet. That's Tuesdays after school and in 148 for Academy Decathlon. That would be today. And Frank Linwell, where are you? Hey guys back there, how about a round of applause for Frank Linwell? He was named to the thank you. Uh, here comes one of his teammates, Jim Gonder. He was named to the first team, all state golf team. Only 10 are picked in the entire state. And he made it the uh, First team has eight seniors, one junior, and Frank Linwall, the only sophomore to make all-state first team. Great honor for Frank, who finished as the state's number three ranked golfer. And Laura Worden from the Workplace Learning Connection. The Learning Connection will be outside the cafeteria today. If you'd like to talk with her about internships, internships are a little more longer, more detailed, greater experiences, or bigger experiences than uh, the job shadowing experiences. So she's there, or Ms. Wassup in the counseling office is also an expert on job shadowing and internships. Student answers.
Japanese club will be having a meeting tomorrow after school in room 130. That's Kane Sensei's room. Um, it's for anyone that wants to learn about Japanese culture and the language. Um, if you missed the meeting last week, don't worry, you can still show up tomorrow. Um, in the spirit of Halloween being uh, close by, we're going to be telling like Japanese ghost stories and the like, so please show up. Um, if you guys got a paper yesterday from Come Time Meeting, make sure to sign and give it to me by Thursday. Um, there will be another Stomp Squad meeting this Thursday, so make sure you be there. Um, the girls that do come this Thursday are the final girls who will be signing up, so after Thursday there will be no more signing up. So. Please come, thanks guys. Hey guys, this is a message to all DASTER members. If you're looking for an individual project um, for the year, you can sign up for um, the debate-a-thon this weekend. So you can help um, just either like bring baked goods or volunteer that day. And the sign-up sheets are out of outside of Miss Kane's room 130. So yeah, thank you. There's Spanish Club tonight at six o'clock. Um, it's at Adelita's, which is um, over by like Walmart and Sam's Club, and it's at six. Oh, you already said that. And um, all Spanish levels are welcome. Gay, gay, gay straight alliance. alliance tonight after school in room two twenty, two twenty eight, two twenty eight. And this week and next week, we're going to be having a bake sale. Yes, that's right, a bake sale, which means that you need to start bringing your money and hanging out with us after the foyer, or sorry, after school in the foyer and before school in the foyer. It will be on and off, but we are having a big sale bring money. Hi. Um, if you know anything about uh, board games or card games, uh, let us know if you see me or come all in the hall. Uh, there is a board game club. Thank you. If you're still listening, sign up for a Trunk or Treat event Sunday, October 26th from 5 to 6 p.m. Thanks. Peter, you are first tomorrow. Thanks for your attention to these uh, Tuesday morning announcements.